Having a good hand position is an important component to playing the oboe well. This is something that I teach my young students and then I also revisit the same ideas with my older students and continually review this topic. So for step one, just take your hands and put them on your knees. Notice how when your hands are just resting on your knees that they're gently curved and they're relaxed. Keep your hands in the same position and then move your hands onto your oboe and put your fingers on the keys. You'll notice it's almost the same and your fingers should be very close to where the keys are. Next, I want you to think about your fourth and fifth fingers. These two, especially if they're very straight and tight, they're going to have difficulty moving independently. However, if your fingers are gently curved and released, you're able to move them quite easily. So with this in mind, I want you to think about how your fingers, especially your fourth finger, is touching the keys. I often see students with very straight fingers here and that will not allow good technique. However, if you just curve your fingers, this will fix the problem. If you have very large hands, just think about curving your fingers a little more. If you have small hands like I do, just think about taking your wrist and just slightly curving it down just so that instead of like this, your fingers are then curved and closer to the keys. And lastly, I want you to think about your thumb. Many students will come to me complaining, oh, my thumb hurts when I play the oboe. Generally, that means that they're not really sure what is holding up your instrument. Notice that your thumb is resting on the thumb rest. And I want you to think about that word rest. Your thumb is actually creating a place for your oboe to balance on your thumb, but it's not actually holding up your entire oboe. What is holding up your oboe is your arm and your back. And so it's your larger muscles that are actually holding the instrument, but it's your thumb then that is creating a point of, of balance for your instrument. So to recap, think about your hands just resting gently on your knees with curved and released fingers. Second, use that same position then to put your fingers on the keys. Allow your fingers to be gently released at all times and hovering over the keys and using the least amount of motion needed to play. Third, keep thinking about your fourth and fifth fingers. Allow them to be curved. So if you have large hands, curve your hands a little more. If you have small hands, make sure your fingers are curved, but then also bring down your wrists. And fourth, think about your thumb. Your thumb is not holding all the weight of your instrument, but it is used as a balance point for the instrument. So if you have more questions, I encourage you to go to theoboist.blogspot.com.